It's your returning champion, Elgin Tensity, aka the Flex Catrapsitter. Let's see where T-Pain, after losing most of his T-cells, is heading today. And right now I'm just walking to my car, and I'm heading to my homeboy's place, Chef Herb, and we're gonna cook for you guys, okay? It's time to begin your culinary education with a sketchy fucktard who hardly eats. Here's Tyrone with the food, which probably fell out of a helicopter. What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone, and today I'm gonna make one of my special meals. Strap on your helmets for special culinary ed. So for this meal, I got sweet potato. I got my tomato paste. Crushed tomatoes. And I got my chicken. And I got onions, and I got a bunch of spices. I know a bunch of y'all are gonna say, yo, Tyron, so what are you gonna cook with these? The suspense is killing me, Iron Chef Canada. That's why you guys have to sit and wait. It's that simple. Like I always say, I don't kiss and tell. So stay tuned and watch this video, and stay shredded as a mud piece, y'all. That's far from the worst cut in this video. Okay, guys, so right now we're gonna chop our sweet potatoes, and Chef Herb is chopping his onions. Okay. He sure looks like a herb, but I wouldn't call him a chef. And these emaciated kids make me want to call UNICEF. So like, so like I said guys, this is simple. Anybody can do this at home. And like I always say, if you guys don't understand anything, just comment below and let me know. Okay? Okay, why is that scrawny motherfucker using a cheese slicer to chop an onion? You'd think a vegan chef would know how to cut vegetables. But well, right now, we're just trying to get shredded. As his shirt says. <laughs> you can identify as anything these days. But anyways. Enough talking, let's start cooking. Anyways, so first I'm just gonna cut my sweet potato. Good night, sweet nutrients. Right. Instead of using a fucking machete, try using a paring knife. So like I said, if you guys don't understand anything, just comment and let me know. Why is he chopping an onion on a Chinese takeout bowl lid when there's a cutting board right next to him? Also, how high are you right now? Yo, so chef, yeah, do you have any uh, words to give to the people watching? Yeah, so pretty much the sweet potato pretty much a clean fat. Sweet potatoes are pretty much fat free, so calling them clean fats is about as stupid as I say something like, there's four grams of carbs in fucking egg yolk. Good job, Chef Herb. You're the black Jeff side. By the way, Dunsky, in future cooking videos, you might want to project more, like my detractors do psychologically. It'll be much easier to hear the dumb shit you say. You're gonna build muscle and fat. Just look at Tyrone's face. Even this illiterate thinks Herb's a dipshit for telling people that a so-called six-pack recipe will make them fatter. By eating this, it's a healthy food. So it's something that I would recommend uh, as a plant-based diet person. Also as uh, someone who's trying to dip bulk. To put on size. Put a, yeah, put, a, put on size. These twigs are giving a lecture on how to put on size. Jesus Christ, if these guys cooked crack, no one would get high. So now I'm just gonna cut into two. Herb's a little bit confused and Tyrone is really fucking confused, but this isn't the first time he's palmed the steel. He's been doing it for over a year. I haven't seen such a long-standing tradition of hand cutting since Luciano joined Maranzano's faction on Boardwalk. Yeah. So like I said, we're gonna roast our sweet potatoes. We're not frying them, okay? No, no frying over here. Quickly reaching across someone using a knife. Only roasting. Because we still want to get our six pack, alright? So we're only roasting. If I wanted to see a skinny dumbass get his hand sliced for neglecting to practice knife skills, I'd watch Starship Troopers. Take it in, guys. He's actually learning. Never mind. But it all depends on what seasoning you guys want. Okay? I'm surprised he uses so little seasoning. Bam. But he's probably too weak to hold the bottles up for too long. Okay, I think that's enough. Yeah. Guys, so I'm done the seasoning. I put everything on. But there's one more thing that I'm missing. And I'm sure if you guys follow me, you guys know my dear Diana, my barbecue sauce. This is my baby. For the sake of the gene pool, I hope it stays that way. Guys, without this, there would be no shredded motherfucker. Without this, there'll be no... Anyways, enough talking. Now we know the name of the mother figure who's responsible for this neat. So like, and let me tell you something, and the reason why I put it in these bowls, let me tell you something, it's simple. Take it to work, take it to the gym. Yes, take a container full of cold, watery tomatoes to the gym. There's no better way to maximize performance than to sip on intra-workout gazpacho. So anyways guys, that's the bell, and the bell means it's the money time, baby. Anyway, stay shredded, stay positive, peace y'all. Until next time, and like I always said, I got you guys, I'm gonna be making a bunch of cooking videos for you guys. 
Stay tuned for the next one. The stage and hold up. No. Anybody who wants to get leaner and pays a skinny retard like you to learn how is a fat retard. You didn't even discuss calories or macros, so this isn't a diet plan at all. I'm glad you're making more cooking videos because your dumbass will have more chances to incapacitate yourself, but the next time you go under the knife, it had better be for a vasectomy. Zero! Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now.